Hi guys, James from Measure Square here. Welcome to the report printout tutorial, the final video in the Getting Started with Measure Square 8 series. In this video, we will cover printing a report from your Measure Square 8 takeoff. To begin, go to the File button in the top left, then click the Print button. This will bring up the Printers and Options pop-up. On the left-hand column, we have the ability to select a printer. In this menu, we can choose a networked plotter or printer, or the Measure Square PDF printer for printing a PDF. We recommend using the Measure Square PDF printer as we have loaded all of the commonly used architectural paper sizes into it by default. We can also choose the orientation as portrait or landscape, as well as page size. In the left middle column, we can select which tabs or diagrams to print, as well as our selected documents, such as proposals by product or a work order. In the right middle column, we have the options, miscellaneous, and forms tabs. Most important is going to be the options tab, which will allow us to choose which documents we would like to bundle with our diagrams and worksheets. For example, we can choose our customer and job site info entered in on the project info tab as covered in our job info prep part one video in the getting started series. Our estimate summary, will cut list, cut sheets, diagram, room details. With the room details, we can even choose the zoom level of the view to focus in on those important details and wall details if we have wall products. 3D view, and our forms. In this column, we can also select who prepared the diagram, enter in our company name, put in our company tagline, enter in our address and contact info, and even add in our company logo for a professional look. In the miscellaneous tab of this column, we can adjust font size, what details to show in our legend, and what information we want to appear in our estimation summary. In the Forms tab of this column, we can choose numerous configuration options for all of our forms, like the Proposal, Quotation, Work Order, Purchase Order, and Invoice. Each different form can turn the following features off and on. Show Quantity Unit, Show Description, Show Price, Show Amount, Show Total Summary, Show Labor Total, Show Tax, and Show Signature. In this way, we can choose the exact output we are looking for on each of our form types. In the right-hand column, we can select the options to merge pages if possible to save space. We can adjust our diagram scale type between Auto Fit, Different Zoom Levels, or by print scale if we want an accurate printout for field use. We can also select the ignore empty image area if we want to automatically zoom in on only the areas of our plans that have our scope of work. We can also choose to print only the current window view of our diagram or a diagram with no margin. We also have the ability to adjust our cut sheet scale type using the zoom level slider to make sure we have the right level of detail for field use. For multifamily jobs, the subtotal grouped items in forms can be used to give a per unit subtotal breakdown. The subtotal item suffix will allow the user to choose the wording next to this field in the proposal. For example, unit subtotal. Lastly, on the printer and options pop-up, we have the ability to save all of our hard work configuring our print report as a profile. To save as a profile, we can click on the plus button in the top right to save our configuration. We can then name our profile and click OK. Note, we can make several profiles if needed, for example, a commercial print profile and a multifamily print profile. Once we have our report configured how we'd like, we can click the OK button. 
This will take us into the Measure Square Print view. In this view, we can see a preview of our report that we configured in our pop-up. If we like the look of our report, we can click on the Print to Measure Square PDF Printer button in the top left to print our report as a single PDF file. In the Printer and Options field, we can adjust all of the same fields we had access to in the previous pop-up. In the Signature field, we can select a field where we can sign off or have a customer sign off on documentation. In the View Options button, we can zoom in or out and show multiple pages on our screen for faster review of big projects. The additional two option fields allow us to configure the view on the diagram such as product grid, tile cut, and so on. We also have the ability to adjust the cut sheet zoom level via a slider to get a visual check on the size of our cut sheet output. Once we've made all of our changes, we can print our report and move on to the next bid. This concludes the Getting Started series with Measure Square 8. In upcoming videos, we will cover advanced topics.